Welcome back to First Issues. Previously on the program, we started a series on lifestyle disorders, formerly known as non-communicable diseases or lifestyle diseases with pharmacologist and consultant cardiologist, Dr. Kieran Bagat. He shared that these are diseases associated with the way a person or a group of people lives. Additionally, these disorders share risk factors similar to prolonged exposure to three modifiable lifestyle behaviors, smoking, unhealthy diet, and physical inactivity, and result in the development of chronic diseases, some of which include cardiovascular disease, asthma, diabetes, to mention a few. Tonight kicks off a nine-part series where the good doctor shares his expertise on the most common lifestyle disorders in Botswana, first on the list being obesity. We are suffering the effects of uh, obesity, which is basically defined as a body mass index greater than 25. And, and not to get too technical, um, if your waist circumference, for example, as a man, is more than 90 centimeters, if your waist circumference as a woman is more than 80 centimeters, you are in trouble. That defines obesity to start with. And you, you can even have people who are what we call skinny fat, in that they look slim from the outside, but when you do an ultrasound scan, you find a fatty liver and you find fatty abdomen. And they'll say, Do Doctor, I'm not overweight, but I'm diabetic it's because they're eating the wrong foods and that food has gone into the intestines and has stuck to the intestines so they may have a slim waist but internally they have what we call visceral fat so we are having these issues and the fact what is happening when you are obese is a number of things you're actually causing inflammation the fat around your abdomen is an, an entire organ in itself and it produces and manufactures what we call in medicine cytokines these are inflammatory uh, inflammation inducing molecules that inflame the whole body. So we know that if you inflame the arteries, you get a heart attack. We know if you inflame the arteries going to the neck, you can get a stroke. We know if you inflame the arteries in the intestine, you can get cancer. We know that obesity causes a much greater risk of breast cancer. We know that obesity, because you can't get up, causes uh, joint disorders. So osteoarthritis, uh, <clears throat> because you can't move, you become more obese because you can't exercise. We know obesity is associated with gout. We know obesity is associated with a high cholesterol. High cholesterol results in blockages, blockages in the heart causing heart attack. We know obesity causes gallstones, so you have uh, issues with your liver. Mm -hmm. So the, the list goes on in terms of the, the consequences of obesity. But the basis of that obesity is we have to ask what has changed um, as we move from the cattle post to the car. And the things that have changed simply is what we put in our shopping basket. It's obvious that for somebody to, you know, tackle the obesity is to eat well, is to exercise and more and live a more active lifestyle. That's obvious. But what in the case of people who are unable to do those things for various issues, are there any medical interventions that they could explore, exploit and, you know, have access to that can help them lose weight? In the 21st century, there are lots of tools. And uh, sadly, but uh, in a way, luckily for us, uh, this condition affects the West much more than us. Mm -hmm. There has been an onslaught of drugs, uh, weight loss drugs, you know, and, and, and we have them here. We've been reluctant to use them because we wanted to emphasize primary prevention. Mm -hmm. But they have come to Botswana and they are available on a, on a doctor's prescription, some of which have to be carefully uh, given, particularly some that, that uh, interfere with, with people's blood pressures, etc. Um, <clears throat> and there are these new tools that have come out, these injectables, which are available in Botswana, uh, such as Ozempic and Wagovi and um, another one called Victoza, which are under prescription and which can be given to initiate weight loss. And you are right that there are some that unfortunately have reached a stage where they are so o overweight that they really literally cannot get out of a bed. They cannot exercise. They are show so short of breath. They have such bad osteoarthritis arthritis, they have such bad gout, they have such bad diabetes, such bad high blood pressure, have even had heart attacks, and I have patients like this. And in that sort of situation, um, the breakthrough in science has been what we call um, uh, uh, partial gastrectomy or bariatric surgery. It's a long-winded way of saying what we do is we, we reduce the size of the stomach. Um, and it's done in Botswana, uh, uh, approved uh, un under limited situations to say this is a medical condition, it's a life-threatening condition. And there's a dramatic change in weight loss. This series continues again next time with Dr. Bagat when we discuss cardiovascular diseases. Until then, have yourselves a pleasant evening. Good night. <laughs>